Welcome to another update from Modmo. Today we're meeting Bashir, known to the team as Bash, our modular accessories design engineer. You may have seen Bash in our previous videos, and today we're catching up with him to hear a little bit more about who he is and also what he's doing with Modmo. So Bashir, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came to work here. Sure, so uh, I'm a Canadian uh, mechanical engineer and a uh, bike enthusiast for my whole life. One of my dreams was to come to Asia and to travel for, for many, many months. I was able to do that for six months and I also wanted to work abroad for a few years. And I was fortunate as well to do this. Uh, as COVID came, uh, I couldn't go back to my country. And, uh, but the perfect opportunity presented itself with Modmo, any bike startup, Canadian uh, bike enthusiast, like everything just came together at the right moment. So I'm very uh, happy and grateful to be here. All right. Well, that does sound like a pretty nice coincidence or come together of events. So what does your job with Modmo entail? Yeah. So I've been uh, for the past year working on many different projects. I've been doing uh, production. So production of the frames, developing the smoothing of the weld process. I've been working on the assembly, uh, making sure that the quality is perfect and also on the modular accessories. Okay, so with that, what are you currently working on? Yeah, so uh, for the modular accessories, we have a whole fleet of different uh, mods coming on. We have the front basket, we have a rear rack, we have a child seat, we have a delivery box. We also are developing a rear basket, a trailer and many more. So what's uh, special or unique about these modular accessories? So for our accessories, we strive them to be as beautiful as our frames. In the bike world, accessories aren't very aesthetic. They're all metal uh, extrusions that are bent and very solid and reliable. Uh, but we don't want to compromise the aesthetics for reliability. So we're trying to tackle both on matching the frame with our accessories, but also have them uh, safe and secure with our uh, modular feature, which is basically to be able to anchor it inside of our mounts and dismantle them very easily. And uh, this is also where we have things like a rear rack that you can attach a child seat or a delivery box really easily. Okay. So when you have this process, how do you go from the idea that you have to having an actual physical product or prototype? So our process is, is simple. We get inspiration from anything, from nature, from whatever we expose to on our day to day. And then we discuss it among our teams, go to the drawing board, we do our CAD models, we 3D print them, we make them uh, out of metal with our local manufacturers and we iterate on those. We see what is not working so well, what is great, and we keep pushing to be better. And the best thing that we like to do is to uh, have customer feedback, is to really have them involved in our project just as much as we are doing it. We like to have their input as well because that's how we're going to be able to develop the best product possible that they will enjoy. All right. Yeah, well, it's definitely a thing, and we really appreciate having a a customer base that's so highly involved and actually practically participates in the in the design process and gives feedback. So with that said, thank you so much, Bashir. Thank you for having me. All right. That's it for this time. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to stay tuned for more updates. Other than that, see you guys soon.